friend last night who says that she's going to be using it just for feeling better. Just exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, so uh, I want to talk about low-dose naltrexone, and I want to touch a little about ALA, alpha-lipoic acid, just because it's so interesting. But tell us real quickly about multiple sclerosis and pain issues and LDN, or low-dose well, naltrexone. You know, the, the story of how, I know we're, we're limited with time, and the story about how it was invented is pure genius. And it's in my book, It's an Honest Medicine, how a drug that at 50 milligrams, 5-0, was FDA approved for drug addiction, has, was used by a doctor named Dr. Bernard Bahari at very, very low doses to treat, tr- to treat conditions like, as you just mentioned, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, Crohn's disease, yeah. uh, rheumatoid arthritis, essentially autoimmune diseases. What he found was that in very low doses, 3 milligrams, 4.5 milligrams, what this drug does, it low-dose naltrexone, it, it raises endorphin levels, which, as yeah. you know, make you feel better. Yeah. And it also modulates or, or makes, the, makes the immune system work better. And, and it's, in- uh, it's interesting Dr. at low Bahari, dose, though. The, the yes. key is it's not dose-dependent. You know, we have this no. idea that you have more, the greater your dose... We have this idea the greater your dose, the greater your effects. It doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you get completely no, different effects. as a matter of fact, it's the opposite. Yeah, what that's right. What happened with Dr. Bahari was he was working with drug addicts. Remember I said it was FDA approved at 50 yeah. milligrams and higher for drug addiction? For opiates. Well, he was working with drug addicts, and he said, oh, I'll try this. It was supposed to stop the craving, <clears throat> and he did. He tried it on his drug addicts, and he said, you know, it did stop the craving for drugs. On the other hand... At high doses, it was so toxic that they were bent out of shape. You know, they, they couldn't right. remember what they had done the day before. That's so right. That I noticed that it has a good effect, too. But can we get the good effect, the raising yeah. of endorphin levels, yeah. to still be with the drug as we lower the dose? Yeah, no, and I... he found that he could get it very low dose. And that people with, well, the first one who came to him was uh, a friend of his daughter's who had multiple sclerosis. And she, at this point, this was in the mid-80s when, when uh, low-dose naltrexone started being around. And uh, she said, I wonder if this drug, low-dose naltrexone, would help me because it's been, you know, it, it, it apparently has good effects on, on the immune system. And he tried it. And, indeed, her MS stopped progressing. And, now, now wait know, a minute. The dis- hang on, though. Did the disease itself stop progressing or yeah. she felt better? No. Or both? Both. I shouldn't say no. You're right. Yes, she felt better. But the disease stopped progressing. And this Hmm. is what has been found with so many autoimmune diseases. You know, people started coming to him. Let me ask you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go on. Uh, No, continue, because I want to, we were almost out of time, but I want to ask one more thing. Okay. Uh, People started coming to him with lupus and with Hmm. myasthenia gravis and all these and it had a good effect, not on everybody. This is not snake oil. Okay. But it, it had an effect on so many, many people with so many, many autoimmune conditions, obviously affecting the immune system. And uh, it's now a cause celebre. Go on Facebook. Well, I know you're on Facebook, Ben. Well, here, let, and, me ask you one, let me ask you one thing that comes to mind when I hear this. Do you have to stay on the low-dose naltrexone? Does the condition revert when you're off of it? You know what? Excellent question. The way I talk about it and the way Dr. Bahari would have, he died a few years ago, it's more like a supplement, you know? And, if, and so you, you do have to take it forever, but think of it as a good thing to take. The, you know, it's not like most drugs. You know how most drugs have side effects that are bad, including right. melanoma? This one doesn't? There's no side effects? No. Okay, so here's what I would say. Use the low-dose naltrexone while you're figuring out why your immune system is so jacked up. Exactly. And And usually you'll find it's digestion. Yeah, no, so use it to stabilize. And, you know, I I rip on drugs more than anybody probably. But there are times when for stabilization or for pain, there are times. I'm not Pollyannish about drugs. I hope nobody misunderstands my position here. What I object to is when this is how we're treated for the rest of our life. And we're yeah. met, led to believe that this is somehow curative. So anyway, we only had a couple. We only have a couple minutes, but I want to talk about ALA because I that, to me that's 
you know, that's one of the most fascinating of all the nutritional supplements, alpha lipoic yeah. acid, and you never hear about it, really. You know, nobody well, really you talks know, about it. This is, the one in my book is intravenous alpha lipoic yeah. acid. Yeah, And it's been for, a fantastic For the liver. Thing. For liver disease. Yeah. And now for autoimmune diseases, and as you know, uh, one of the uh, wonderful stories in my book is about a pancreatic cancer patient who yeah. is nine years after yeah. diagnosis because of intravenous alpha lipoic acid. Now you can't necessarily, uh, you can't necessarily, um, uh, you know, not everybody has access to IV alpha lipoic acid, but you can take it orally, and you can get some good benefits orally for a lot of different things. It's it's almost like a Swiss Army knife antioxidant, right? It's because it's got it the because it's got the fat side and the water side, so it's good for so many different things. Yeah, it definitely diabetes. is. Diabetes? Have you heard about it for diabetes for blood sugar? Uh, oh yes, and you know what? This is it's so fascinating that you mentioned this. Because the reason, the way Dr. Bert Berkson, who is the pioneer of intravenous alpha lipoic acid, found out about it was that at the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, they were actually using the ALA, they were studying it for the effects of neuropathy in diabetes. Yeah. So that was its original use. It's a and, go-to. It's, I would yeah. consider it a go-to supplement for neuropathy and for diabetes. It's like one of the yeah. basics. And, yeah. But here's the, you know what the problem with it is? It, from a manufacturing standpoint, it's a little bit tricky to make. It's very unstable, and so it's expensive, alpha lipoic acid. And that's the one and downside to it. And Dr. brings up another point, and this, I'm sure you can, you can correct me on this if I'm wrong, Ben. Yeah. But according to Dr. Berkson, I believe there are some, and we're talking now about the, about the pills, you know, about the supplements right. that are oral. That yeah. some of them, especially from China, are not good. No, they're and unstable. You, they're oxidized. It's yeah. a, all antioxidants are going to oxidize, and so you have to take great care to prevent that from happening. And alpha lipoic acid is because it's so powerful is also so unstable. Sometimes they're connected. The, the potency and the instability are related. And alpha lipoic acid is very potent. But topically, it's got some really neat benefits too. Do you know anything about top? Have you ever? No, talk. Tell, tell us. To, well, no, I'm talking to you. I didn't know. If, I want no, to talk no, no. to you. The, the they hear me talk all the time. Orally, I know about it. Uh, I know about it as uh, as an infusion. But I'd love to hear about it. Topically, topically, it's very fascinating. But again, it's instability is a problem. But we're out of time. So that's all for now, Julia. How did we'll that talk again happen? soon. What's that? I said, how did it happen that we're out of time so that's quickly? That's just how it goes. You know, when, when, when you're having a good time, things go fast. Anyway, it's good to talk to you, Julia. We'll talk again soon, okay? I had a great time. Thank you. Invite me back. I, absolutely, I will. Thank you. Book, okay. uh, Julie Shopik, her book is Honest Medicine, honestmedicine.com. Thanks for listening. Tomorrow we'll t continue talking about hormones and CDD, chronic degenerative disease, and how it works mentally and emotionally as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.